Can you even believe it? After one full year of online worship and pandemic hysteria, we're finally getting ready to reopen for in-person worship. It'll happen on Easter Sunday. And what an appropriate Sunday for us to come back together, to be risen once again as a community of faith. In order for us to do this, we need to go over a few of the protocols necessary to keep everyone safe. And so the first is a series of screening questions, just so we comply. So here we go. You've had screening questions, haven't you? You've been to the doctor or the dentist or anywhere else. Same here. We didn't want to be different. So we have some screening questions. The first one. Do you feel ill? Do you have any symptoms that are associated with COVID-19? And you know what they are. Cough, sneezing, fever, body aches, sore throat, nausea, or vomiting. If you have any of these symptoms, then by all means, please stay home and worship with us online. Now, if you have a hangnail, arthritis, gout, perhaps pattern baldness, yes, well then you're in the clear and you can worship with us. Any symptoms from COVID, please stay home. Now, have you been exposed or think maybe you've been exposed to COVID-19? If you have, then please, by all means, stay home and worship with us online. Has anyone in your household has a, have had a positive COVID test in the last 14 days? If so, then we want to invite you to go ahead and stay home and worship with us online. Now, are you waiting the results of a COVID test? Kind of on pins and needles? Haven't heard yet? Then please, please, please stay home until you get those results and join us for online worship. And finally, have you been to exotic, unusual, or interesting places outside the United States in the last 14 days? Well, I gotta tell you, we love to hear the stories, but on the other hand, please stay home and worship with us online. Again, those questions are simple, very straightforward, if you don't feel right, stay home. If you've been exposed or think you've been exposed, then please stay home. And if anyone in your household has had a positive COVID test in the last 14 days, or you're awaiting the results of a COVID test, or you've traveled outside the United States in the last 14 days, then by all means, please stay home and worship with us online. Now, if you've answered no to all five of those questions, we're ready to move ahead and get you to reserve a space to worship. First way is by reserving online. Go to the Grace Presbyterian Church website and then scroll down past all of that important information you need to be reading to reservations required for Easter. Just click this banner once and it takes you to bookapew.com. Now we want to find a date in April. So if you click on the 4th, that's Easter Sunday. And then this screen comes up. You can, you can select either the 8 a.m. service, the 9.30 a.m. service, or the 11 o'clock service. Also, if you have need of childcare for three years to kindergarten, or from infant to two years, then you will have to reserve a space there for the nursery. But we're gonna go ahead and go to the 8 a.m. Easter Sunday service. So I click reserve. And then how many seats will I need? Well, I know my wife and my two kids are coming. So I'm gonna reserve three spaces. So I come here, click the arrow down, and hit the number three. Then I'm gonna write in my name and my email address. And 
now I will submit. And then this screen comes up. Review your reservation. Three seats under my name with my email address. That's important. Now I hit submit again. And my reservation was saved. Now, I click out of all of this and pretty soon I will get an email confirmation. And when you get that confirmation, if you need to cancel your reservation, there's a link right on the confirmation for you to do so. It's as easy as that. Now, if you cannot navigate online that way, that's okay. What you can do is pick up the phone and dial 773-2134 anytime between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. Monday through Thursday. And as you do so, you can make a reservation over the phone. Any way you slice it, you need to reserve a place for worship. I cannot stress this enough. Nobody, we do not want to turn anyone away from worship. So, if you'd like, please reserve a space, either 8 o'clock, 9.30, or 11 o'clock, or if you need child care for two, infant through two, or two through kindergarten, then please also reserve a space there. You can do it online, or you can do it by phone. Oh, now that you've reserved a space for worship, come on in. But before you come in, there's a couple of things that you need to be aware of. The first is face masks are required. Now, with the help of some of my friends from Sesame Street, let me, let me share a song with you. One of these things is not like the other. One of these things does not belong. Can you tell which thing is not like the other before I finish this song? Thank you. All right, can you tell which one was different? The person not wearing a mask, of course. We are required to wear masks. We're wearing masks for our own protection and also for the safety of everyone involved, your fellow worshipers, the staff, as well as the volunteers who are ushering and making sure that all the protocols are followed. So please wear a mask and wear it appropriately, covering your nose and your mouth. And I will grab a mask here and show you just in case. This is the proper way to wear a mask. This is not the proper way to wear a mask. This is definitely not a proper way to wear a mask. This is a proper way to wear a mask. All kidding aside, we do need to reserve, re, we do need we need, I need to learn to speak, but we need to observe all of these protocols. The next is we will also have social distancing in effect. So we're asking you to remain six feet apart as you move toward the sanctuary. There are small discs on the sidewalk and the walkways as well as inside the narthex to guide you to maintain that safe distance. Once you enter the sanctuary with your mask on, there are hand sanitizing stations at both entrances to the sanctuary. There, all you have to do is slide your hand under and hold it there, and it will be dispensed hands-free. So then you're free to sanitize your hands. Once you've sanitized your hands, you enter, and there before you, if you do not have a mask available, we have masks for everyone who needs one. And you'll also notice as well 
There are plates by the entrance as well, offering plates. We will not be a collecting an offering during the service, but if you'd like to bring your offering with you, you can leave it at the, on the plates at the door, or you can drop it in the secure mailbox right outside the entrance to the sanctuary. So are y'all masked up? Hands properly sanitized? Offering delivered into the plate? Well, then you can proceed to the ushers, who will then take you to your seat in the sanctuary. You will notice that part of the sanctuary is blocked off, and those little white dots on the pew, when they might have a red X in them soon, are where you are not allowed to sit. But the ushers will guide you to the place for you to sit during the worship service. And once the usher seats you, we ask you, to remain in your seat with your seat belts fastened, just in case the Holy Spirit decides to rush in on a mighty wind. You never know, it's happened before. But seriously, keeping in your seat is another important thing to remember because the captain has turned on the fastened seat belt sign and so everyone needs to remain in their pews. We ask that you don't congregate, don't get up and greet people with a hug or air high fives, fine. A wave, a smile, a kind word, all of that is fine. But to avoid unnecessary contact, we ask that you observe these protocols. You also notice that there are no hymnals, pamphlets, leaflets, Bibles, pencils, fellowship pads, or Kleenex boxes in the pews. In fact, the pews do look quite empty. The order of worship will be projected up on the screen in the sanctuary. And if you would prefer, you can bring your own Bible and print off an order of worship that is available online. Also, masks are to be worn throughout the worship service. That's really important. But the one time you can remove your mask is when we celebrate the Lord's Supper. Upon entering the sanctuary, the ushers will offer you communion cups, as well as small bags for activities for your children. So please obtain them from the ushers before you go to your seat. We hope this makes things smooth, but at the same time keeps everyone safe. Now that we've gotten to this point, worship is beginning, and we are worshiping together in person. There is one other thing, though. Because of the risk, we will not do any congregational singing. Um, our worship leaders, Chelsea and Brian, will be playing beautiful music and singing with us, but we ask that you not sing along. Now, here are some suggestions, some things you can do to get the most out of this time. You can hum behind your mask along with the tune. Some people take the time as well to just read the words and focus on the words of the hymn and how they fit into the whole worship service. I myself love the idea of simply closing my eyes and thinking of it as a prayer and allowing the words of the song to speak to me spiritually. There are three possibilities and we hope that you will join us in that so that we can truly worship together. Now at the conclusion of the worship service following the benediction, the worship team will exit the sanctuary and then you will be dismissed from the sanctuary from back to front. We ask once again that you observe social distancing as you're leaving as well as moving right through the narthex and out to your awaiting vehicles. Please do not congregate in the narthex and allow for a smooth transition. Because after each worship service, we have to clean and sanitize the worship space, the narthex, and the restrooms. Now the restrooms at the front near the sanctuary will be open for your use. Only two people are allowed in the restrooms at a time, and we ask that you continue to observe social distancing throughout this time. The restrooms, common areas, sanctuary will all be sanitized between the services. So your prompt departure 
allows us to get that done in good time. Now, hopefully you will have all received the mailing entailing all of this in detail. If you haven't received the mailing, the same information is available on the Grace Presbyterian Church website, the Grace Presbyterian Church Facebook page. It's available in the weekly messenger, as well as Grace Notes. And if you have any questions at all, please feel free to call us here at 773-2134. Now here's a quick recap of all the protocols for worshiping together in person. If you answer yes to any of the screening questions, please stay home and worship online. Make a reservation for one of the three services. Reservations are required. You can do so by going to the church website and clicking the link available there. Wear your mask properly at all times. Observe social distancing. Sanitize your hands upon entering the building. Leave your offering in the plates or in the secure mailbox. Follow the instructions of the elders and ushers. Also stay in your seat for the duration of the service and sit back and enjoy what it means for us to be together in the sanctuary. Exit the building immediately following the worship service. The bottom line is we want to worship together safely. After all, it's such a joy for all of us to be together in the presence of God. And as we begin this process on Easter Sunday, we're mindful of the joy of the empty tomb and the opportunity we have to once again be together as the body of Christ. Thank you for listening, and I hope to see you on Sunday.